Young kids with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder are vulnerable to another health problem down the road. A study shows those kids are more likely to be depressed, even suicidal, as teens. Gene Anderson has more in today's King 5 Children's Health Link. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good. High school freshman Charlie Smith was diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, very early. His first grade teacher spotted telltale signs. And she just suggested we get him tested because he was all over the place and having a hard time concentrating, and he was starting to fall behind. He comes to a clinic at Seattle Children's, created to serve kids with complex ADHD. The University of Washington Professor of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, Dr. Chris Varley, directs the clinic. He talked about the struggles kids like Charlie face who were diagnosed as young as age four. A new study showed their ADHD has not gone away. And also, as the kids got older, there was a high rate of depression in this population. And accompanying that, there was a high rate of thinking about suicide and even some kids who attempted suicide. Charlie Smith has not experienced depression, but he can see why others might. The disorder and taking meds at school set him apart. Being picked on, uh, it was a little problem in fifth grade, but then going into sixth grade, I was fear just because of this, ADHD was going to be a bigger problem. I get even more made fun of. Which kids face a higher chance of depression? The study showed they were the ones with early anxiety and behavior problems. Also girls and children whose moms became depressed. Dr. Varley said take warning signs seriously. Recent evidence of decline in function. Recent evidence of withdrawal from friendships. Recent evidence of decline in school functioning specifically. Emergence of substance abuse. How does Charlie avoid depression? He said learning to be organized allowed him to start his own lawn care business. He credits his health care provider, his medication, and his own resolve to get his school grades up. Dr. Barley said if a child with ADHD shows signs of depression, don't delay. Set up a visit with the doctor right away. I'm Jean Anderson for King 5 Children's Health Link, linking you to better health. Dr. Varley says parents should consider an ADHD evaluation if a child's symptoms are interfering with school or causing conflict at home or with school friends. New studies show that college students are looking for a big boost of self-esteem. Researchers at Ohio State 